So, hi Magda. Hi Tom. We are, we are live in Wrocław. We are not on a virtual screen. This is no background screen today. We are mm -hmm. here in Wrocław uh, on a not so sunny day at the very top of the Hotel Monopol. You, for the first time, seeing this place, beautiful surroundings. Yeah. Um, you can't see it, but uh, we got a beautiful balcony here, and I can see the 35 story yeah, big tower in the front of us. Brotswaf. Exactly. So glad to be here. So we're on for the news today. This is uh, Friday, 14 May, and uh, let's start with the first story. Yeah, it's about an uh, interview with Olga Malinkiewicz, co founder and CTO at Sala Technologies. The BPCC Michael Dembinski talks to Dr. Malinkiewicz about how the future of solar energy is about to be revolutionized. Dr. Malinkiewicz invented a way to make photovoltaic cells based on perovskite crystals using inject printing. Yeah, I think it's a cool story. Um, uh, it's been a great story for a long time. Um, uh, Dr. Malinkiewicz is doing wonderful things. Uh, they have Japanese investors, among others, and um, they are revolutionizing the very thin uh, film, uh, solar films that are being put onto office buildings and to distribution centers, etc. cetera. Um, they are expanding to the US market and they're about to launch on New Connect. That's a new thing very soon. So we'll watch that care carefully. And uh, thanks again to Michael Dembinski from the British Chamber, uh, who is uh, helping us with interviews yesterday with uh, Budweil from Trigo mm -hmm. and today from um, Sal Technologies. Um, thank you for that. Next story. Bosch Group to hire 500 employees in Warsaw shifts work from China to Poland. Bosch is intensively expanding the Capital's IT Competence Center, which is becoming one of the key software development and IT consulting centers for the Bosch Group worldwide. Yeah, again, another big story of um, expansion of IT op operations in Poland, and this time in Warsaw. Warsaw keeps getting more IT programming jobs, 500 new people, that's a lot. And of course, the big shift from China to Poland, the nearshoring thing, uh, there have been lots of problems with the long distance um, supply chains. So that's again an interesting trend that we're seeing all across Central East Europe. Okay, next story. Uh, Following up from yesterday's story. I think it yeah, was. yesterday yeah. we talked about the resignation of the CEO of the PICAO, BP, uh, CEO Zbigniew Jagiełło. Uh, today we will know the reasons for his resignation. Uh, the head of the state giant PICAO, BP Zbigniew Jagiełło, a longtime friend of the Prime Minister, was forced to resign because the peace authorities want to have greater political control over the bank's money and its staff. No surprise. <laughs> as a pretext for the attack on Jagiełło, a financial operation from years ago was used according to Onet.pl. Yeah, so congrats to Onet for digging up this story. And uh, they found out that apparently a Nodea Bank acquisition by PKO seven, eight years ago was slightly overpriced. <sighs> Give me a break. So they fired at Jagiełło. Okay, as we said, we knew yesterday it's about politics. It is about politics. Um, and you can see that the prime minister is making sure to save his ass, uh, mm. but not his closest friends. Anyway, next story. Allegro's profits surged from 104 million zlotys to 269 million zlotys, will hire another 1,500 people. Sales revenues increased by more than 60% annually and amounted to 1.21 billion zlotys. On the other hand, the value of products sold on the Allegro platform amounted to 9.6 billion zlotys, which means an increase by 46% compared to the same quarter last year. Great. So, um, what will be taken? Mm -hmm. okay, hold that. Okay. Yeah. And so, what, this is interesting because, uh, again, it's Allegro, uh, the battle with Amazon is coming up. Um, Allegro is about to consider buying this huge operator in Czech Republic, Mall, which we talked about also, I think, last week. Mm -hmm. um, Huge surge in the online, again, no surprise, 1,500 people, big number of jobs. Um, we'll watch this space carefully, and I'm sure Amazon.pl with a new local website is watching this space as well. We'll see, watch that battle unfold on this channel. Okay, next one, KGHN. Uh, KGHM to sell two small mines in Chile and US. The management board of KGHM Polska Miedź sent out information materials, the so-called teasers, to companies potentially interested in acquiring foreign mining assets belonging to KGHM International. The Frank Mine and the Carlota Mine 
KGHM reported in its quarterly report. Yeah, great. I think kudos for KGHM to taking advantage of high copper prices to prune some of their businesses, to kind of clean up some of their assets. They're selling, um, it's like 3% of the total production. It's more or less nothing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's not a big sale. It's cleaning up a little bit of their assets. So it's U.S., Chile. Um, kudos for selling at the, at the market. I mean, the this, this copper prices are so high right now. Good time to be selling. Um, we'll follow that as well. And the stock price, watch KGHM has soared the last year. We'll watch it go, continue to, to, uh, to improve. Okay, next story. Inflation fears push Polish. Hungarian government bought yields higher. Yeah, well, the bond yields, Polish government um, is uh, under a bit of pressure on the currency, um, and inflation, of course, everywhere, and they're looking at wisely um, increasing some of the uh, some of the interest rates, which would help improve the value of the currency. We'll watch that unfold. And next story is a couple minutes about that. But next story is PGZ contractor for air defense system. The state-owned defense group PGZ was appointed as lead contractor for the NAREF Short Range Air Defense Program in late April 2021, following an announcement by Polish Minister of Defense Mariusz Błaszczak. NAREF would fill a gap in Polish air defense after a selection of the Patriot system under the Wisła program. Yeah, this is interesting. Um, of course, the air defense, so the defense, um, the business in Poland is big. Um, mm -hmm. Interesting, I was speaking yesterday to the DCT port in Gdańsk mm -hmm. and asking them about their imports and exports. And they said that one of the largest imported client, import clients for them right now is the US military. Mm -hmm. So they're importing lots of you know, physical um, machines or, or equipment to Poland. So uh, mm -hmm. that's one of the biggest importers into the Polish port of Gdańsk right now is the, Pol is the US government with its military. Interesting story. Okay, next uh, one. Yeah, Airboot in two new contracts, uh, 35 million and uh, 239 million swatis for housing and distribution. The management board of Airboot has announced that it has signed a contract with Budlex Nieruchomości for the construction of a multi-family building in Bydgoszcz. At the end of April, Airboot signed a contract with Lidl for the construction of the Lidl Oleśnica distribution center, so it's very near to Wrocław. Yes, and they apparently Airboot is one of your clients, right? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, uh, smart lunch company client. Great. Um, well, this is the so-called beds and sheds. I mean, the boom, the assets have shifted in the real estate world a little bit away from offices, certainly away from retail, but into housing and into distribution. Mm -hmm. So they call that the beds and sheds shift. Anyway, um, okay, next story. The biggest Polish interest rate hoax says raise interest rates to combat inflation. Eugeniusz Gatnar, a member of the 10 Strong Monetary Policy Council, said the bank should stop worrying only about economic growth and return to its primary focus on of price stability. Huh, nothing to say, we talked about that already, yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're on to the, um, two more announcements, let's say, um, for, before the weekend ends. Today is our official uh, first deadline for the nominations for our USA, our North America mm -hmm. CE Investment Summit and Awards. Um, we will be announcing on Monday on this channel um, the first uh, shortlist of the first nominations for the top female execs mm -hmm. and entrepreneurs in the U.S. We have about eight nominations, very interesting female nominations coming in. I'll tell you about I'm it on Monday. I'm looking forward to see Yes, it's good, mm -hmm. it's good. And then um, we also have about three or four more jury members as well, so I'll mm -hmm. announce those also on Monday. Um, but I wanted to ask you about Smart Lunch. Okay. We're in Wrocław, companies yeah. in Wrocław. What are, you, what are you guys doing these days? What's the news with Smart Lunch? Uh, we respond to, to the basic human need, uh, which is food. And yes. uh, we uh, organize uh, food, uh, meals for employees uh, uh, from Poland, mainly for the big, biggest production companies uh, in Poland. Uh, um, employees could order meals directly uh, by our application yep. uh, with the funding from the um, employer. Okay, And good. the food is delivered daily um, directly to the workplace. Cool, good. So, uh, hey, I also want to say thanks to those of you who have sent us um, uh, feedback and suggestions. We had a couple from Poznan from about stock market coverage a bit more. Um, keep sending your information in, suggestions to us. We want to keep the, the format fresh and new. Um, we're in Wrocław today. Yeah, uh, maybe we will find the, the next place. Yeah, find the next location. Next recording. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so let us know. Um, have a great weekend, and we'll be back with you on Monday morning. Bye. Bye.